Another neat trick that you can utilize when you're preparing your drawing for plotting, and it's got loads of XREFs and XREF layers in it, is layer group filters. Now, before we start, I'm using a drawing called Using Layer Group Filters Complete. If you want to follow along with the video, go and find using layergroupfilters.dwg in your working files. Now, I've got the two XREFs in there. I've got the topography and the foundation XREF, as before, the DWGs. So they're referenced into our current host drawing. I'm going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon, Layer Properties Manager, and you can see there's my XREF Layers Properties filter that we created in the previous video. Now, what I want to do is create a group filter this time. So I'm going to go to All Layers, like so, and then I'm going to go here. And I want to create a new group filter. Now you'll notice the icon, the little symbol there, is different. It looks like a little sheet of paper with a funnel rather than the layers, the sheets of paper on top of each other and the funnel. So that's what distinguishes a property filter from a group filter, that little symbol. So just be aware of that. So this will be my XREF group. So I just type in XREF and then a dash. And there's my XREF group. Now, you'll notice I didn't need to go through a separate dialog box. All I've done is add to the tree there with all of my layers in the Layer Properties Manager. So if I go to All now, what I can do is I can add my XREF layers to my XREF group. So I can click on that layer there, drag, and when it highlights, can you see? Get the little box next to the pointer, release, and that'll add that layer to that group. So if I click there, there's my XREF layer in my XREF group. I go back to all, and there's topography contours. Click on it, click and drag, put that into XREF group, click on the group, and there's my two XREF layers in my XREF group. Now they're not based on properties, they are based on selection. But if I go to XREF layers, looks exactly the same, doesn't it? Just slightly different methods of doing the same thing. So if I go to XREF group now, I can freeze those layers again because I don't need them. Close the Layer Properties Manager and you can see that they're frozen off the drawing. If I go back to the Layer Properties Manager, go back to my XREF group, thaw those two layers out, close the Layer Properties Manager again, they're back again. So you can see that using Layer Group Filters again is another neat way of preparing your XREF layers for plotting when you're plotting drawings, obviously using XREFs.